5th of February 2018. Today is Monday. This seven month old female cat came in for spay. Now this cat is quite a ferocious cat. So the owner thought she was a he and uh, so came in here for neuter. But uh, we discovered it's a she, as you can see here. So we phone up the owner that this is a female. So the owner said then she didn't want to to spay the cat. So I asked her whether this is a new owner. Because if it's a new owner, then she does not realize that this cat, the female cat, being matured, will start to go on heat. And when the female cat goes on heat, it's very loud. Meow! Cat the warning, sometimes the whole night. So the neighbors can't sleep and the owner and then the owner can't sleep and the cat can't sleep. Sometimes it happens, this cat the warning happens for over three to four days. So in the end, the cat causes a, a nuisance, noise nuisance, and the owner will still have to get a spade. Either that or the cat escapes out of the apartment and goes and get pregnant because she's on heat. So in the end, the owner agrees. Now I'm just doing a video on the use of salicylate and ketamine com combination to spray this cat. The duration of analgesia. Now I have done uh, research on this. Now this cat was injected with salicylate and ketamine 0.1 ml plus 0.4 ml IM. I am inside the carrier. So the so injection to the end of stitching, that means injection. Then we prepare the cat and then take out the ovaries. You can see the cat is on heat. The ovaries are, are swollen. And this is the uterus, uterine horn, and this is the uterine body. And uh, so the injection to end of stitching, that means the skin stitching, injection of xylazine ketamine to end is 30 minutes. So it takes 30 minutes to do surgery to spray a cap, a female cap. Of course, it can be faster. Now, I'm just showing the technique. Now, you see, this is the um, umbilical scar, which is quite a big one. So you incise from this part, the end of the scar. Incision will be one centimeter, one centimeter from the end of the scar. Okay, the end of the scar is one centimeter. This incision. So the incision itself. After one centimeter, you incise 1.5 centimeter. There, the skin incision is 1.5 centimeter. This is the best position because when you pull out the ovaries, you can see a long ovarian ligament. So when you when you uh, ligate the ovarian ligament, which is quite long because of this in this location, uh, when you pull out the ovar ovaries and ovarian ligament is quite long, so you can stitch up the. You can use three forcep method and you can stitch up without rupturing the ovarian ligament and letting the ovary goes into the cat and uh, that, that is no good for for uh, the cat because you will start to come on heat again so now I'm just showing the younger vets that the best incision is about 1.5 cm uh, the start of the incision is once 1 cm from the umbilical scar. This is the umbilical scar, which happens to be quite big. It's a white scar. This umbilical scar is about 8 mm. About 8 mm. So you, 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 you use this as a base. You, you put 1 cm away from umbilical scar. This is where your skin incision starts. So your skin incision starts here. Your scalpel blade starts here and you, you incise. You can see the skin incision is about 1.5 centimeter. It can, it can even be one centimeter if you are confident. And the ovaries, when you put ovaries, you can see a long ovarian ligament, so you have no problem ligating the ovarian ligament. And the uterine horns will come out as well, but you, you cannot uh, pull out the whole uterine horn, although you can extend a bit further if you want. So as you can see, I did clamp the uterine horn, clamp the uterine horn, which is at this level, 
is quite a short one, but still effective. And then the ovarian ligament is here. So, so the ovarian ligament is the one you are you have to be careful because many vets when when they do incision too short, they cannot assess the ovary. So this ovarian ligament needs to be in this incision is quite long because the, of the uh, location of the skin. So I just like it here there. Three three clamp method, three faucet clamp and like it. In this case, it was quite good because you don't want the ovary to be so sh so short. You don't want the ovary to be so little. Then you got to pull. That depends on incision. If incision is more cranial, more forward, then your ovar ovarian ligament is so short that you, when you try to pull, you might rupture it and cause the ovaries sometimes to fall in, to fall inside the. Or you can, you like it in such a way that you, you might even leave a stump there ovarian stump and then the cat will start to or the dog will start to melt so for incision skin incision if you are quite confident 1.5 cm if you are not confident this is umbilical scar if you are not confident just make it 2, two cm yeah. then you will get everything so this is 1 cm from umbilical scar umbilical scar US umbilical scar skin incision 1.5 cm this in between is 1 cm and the internal body is is uh, here you'll be internal body so as you can see that uh, overall this cat is waking up soon and this is the the result what I do is uh, I, I one ligation on the ovarian ligament and and then I I trans uh, ligate the uterine body twice. One one side and then on the other side. After that linear elbow, two two cross stitches and finally the skin, two horizontal metal stitches. And overall the cat be given Betru and Topidin and goes home with the e collar and a plaster here. Okay, thank you.